Hello guys and welcome to your favorite fashion, beauty and lifestyle news show. My name is Valerie and as usual, I'll be taking you on a trip on everything that's trending. First off, on today's episode, find out which brand new product Lipslot has to show its solidarity against sexual assault. Next up on today's episode, find out how long it's taking for another woman to win a Nobel Prize in physics. Still to come, we're going to let you know who our social media star of the day is, which of your favorite American rappers might be going to jail for an attempted murder, and also find out what Donald Trump did to a reporter recently. All this and so much more on this brand new episode of 360 Daily. Kicking off the show with what's trending, the first lady of the United States of America, Melania Trump, is visiting Ghana. She was welcomed by Rebecca Akofo Addo, who is the first lady of Ghana, and she was also welcomed by little kids waving Ghanaian flags and American mini flags. Now, Ghana is the first stop on her Africa tour. She's visiting other countries like Kenya, Malawi, and Egypt. It's super exciting because she's apparently going to meet with the president of Ghana after she has visited the neonatal intensive care unit. Melania Trump had earlier said in August that she was visiting the continent to find out about the crisis that children face and also to find out about the rich cultural history. Next up on what's trending reality TV star Portia Williams is engaged. She has announced that she is officially off the market. Now she reported earlier that she's expecting her first child with her boyfriend Dennis McKinley. Then she posted pictures on social media of him getting on one knee and proposing with a massive rock. She captioned the photo, I definitely said H word yes. She obviously seems super excited and so are we. Next up, there's enough good news to go around today and we're definitely not complaining. Actor Tyrese Gibson took to social media to announce that him and his wife have welcomed their second daughter. She was named Soraya Lee Gibson and Tyrese made a series of Instagram posts prior to the 30 hour labor. Now that is not a joke, 30 hour labor, <laughs> wow. To be honest, if any woman was in labor for 30 hours, she definitely deserves a fantastic push present. Next up on what's trending, Davido is still winning as he has apparently been listed on the shortlist for Quavo's new album. Now Quavo posted a picture and Davido's name was alongside rappers Drake, Travis Scott, Cardi B, Offset, Takeoff and so many others for his upcoming album. Quavo posted a picture on Instagram and captioned it Reasons Cut in brackets not the final cut. Now it's pretty good that Davido might feature on the Migos One album and I cannot wait. And last but not the least, in what's trending, it's been 55 years since a woman has won the Nobel Prize for Physics. Now Donna Strickland is changing that story as she has been announced the winner of this year's Nobel Prize. In the past, Maria Curie had won it in 1903 and Maria Gupa Meyer had won it back in 1953. Now this is an amazing win for Donna Strickland who comes from Canada and she's also sharing the award with Arthur Ashking who is from the US and Gerard Moreau who is from France. First off, in sports, a beauty mogul and reality TV star Kylie Jenner has been soaking up the sun and enjoying herself on a yacht with her best friend Jordan. The pair were spotted on David Grotman's 82 foot yacht and they seem to be having an amazing time. The new mom wore a black spandex that flaunted her curves. Next up in Spotted, beauty blogger Kende Smith is having an amazing time in Morocco as she constantly shares her amazing pictures. Now she has also posted pictures with fellow beauty blogger Kitiana and the pair look effortlessly chic as they enjoy their holiday. First off in beauty, Too Faced has announced that it's launching a pumpkin flavored collection. Now the limited edition collection is going to feature a 16 pan palette that will feature makeup for the face, lips and eyes. And the palettes will also feature autonomous shades with the names like Sweater Weather and Cinnamon Stick. It seems like making scented and flavored makeup might be a new trend for Too Faced as we recently announced that they added new products to their peaches and cream collection. Now makeup lovers, if you like to taste your lipstick or your makeup, this one is for you. Next up in beauty, activism based beauty brand Lip Slot has launched a brand new cool red lipstick just in time for the recent allegations that Brett Kavanaugh has been facing. The lipstick is tagged 
F word Kavanaugh and all the proceeds from the lipstick are going to go to victims of sexual violence. Now this product is coming in the wake of all the allegations that have been levied against Brett Kavanaugh who is a Supreme Court nominee. Now Professor Kristen Ford had said that he had raped her when she was a teenager and even another woman has come forward to say the same thing. Hopefully this proceeds help women in need. Next up in beauty, Huda Beauty fans ask for news and the brand has definitely delivered. Take it to its Instagram account to announce on Monday it has launched a brand new new nudes palette. The 18 pan eyeshadow palette features matte metallics in different shades of burgundy, bronze and brown. This new eyeshadow palette is set to be a permanent fixture in the Huda Beauty collections. And last but not the least, in Beauty Origins, which is a brand that's behind some of your favorite skincare products, has taken it a step further to release a lipstick collection. Now, the Blooming Bold Lipstick and the Blooming Sheer Lip Balm are both lipsticks that are not just named after flowers, but are made from flowers. These products are made from reclaimed flower wax and they consist of 12 different elements of flowers that go from the seed to the stem. They provide skin softening oils and also perfect scents. Next up, our social media star of the day is Gloria Olorun Tobi, popularly known as Maraji. Maraji constantly posts her funny skits and she is absolutely relatable because literally everyone can relate to what she posts on her social media. She first became famous by lip syncing songs but has gone on to become one of our favorite comedians on Instagram. She has over 900,000 followers and she's definitely a rising star. First off, in editorial, Sierra is the cover girl for the latest issue of Cosmopolitan magazine and she looks amazing to say the least. The 32-year-old singer dished about how she got her killer abs back, what life has been since she had her daughter and how she deals with trolls. She also talks about her music, her ambition and how Destiny's Child is a huge inspiration to her. Next up in editorial, Zinda Votova is on the cover of Harper's Bazaar Check. Photographed by Andreas Ortner, the beauty is seen rocking a white lace top adorned with a bow. In the fashion glossy, she's seen wearing all white ensembles styled by Maria Kohutik. Next up in editorials, Michael B. Jordan is definitely on our shortlist for Man of the Year after he literally played one of our favorite villains this year and has also gone on to become the face of Coach Men. The renowned actor and producer talks about his new film Creed 2 that is set to drop on November 21st. He also talks about his larger than life ambitions and how it is literally no reflection of his current situation. We absolutely love Michael B. Jordan, so if you want to find out more juicy bits of his interview, head over to VanityFair.com. Next up in editorials, Kai Gerber is ready for her close-up on the October 2018 edition of Vogue Paris. Photographed by Michael Jansen, she is seen rocking a Louis Vuitton dress and Cartier earrings and a necklace. In the fashion glossy, she is joined by Imam Hamam, Eddie Campbell and Rianne Van Rompuy. The beauties are put in jewels by Piaget and Chopard. And last but not the least, in editorial, DJ Khaled is on the cover of the latest edition of Vogue Man Arabia. He talks about his Arabian youth, his son, business, and so much more. On the cover, he's seeing rocking an all black ensemble paired with Nike hat tops that have green details. First off, on the Daily Dish, after months of dragging her sister, the Duchess of Sussex, who we know as Meghan Markle, she has finally apologized. Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha has been on the media spree since they got engaged and even after they got married. She even went as far as saying that Meghan Markle killed their father, who is literally still alive. Like, the guy is still alive, but she said that she killed her father. I wonder why. Samantha made an appearance on Jeremy Vine on 5, where she apologized and said that the media took a lot of things out of context, even though they pretended like they wanted to hear her out. Wow, so surprising. Much surprise. 
Next up on the Daily Dish, a leaked phone conversation between Birdman and Piri Roscoe might be the final evidence needed in this conspiracy case that's being leveled against Birdman and Young Thug in the shooting of Lil Wayne's tour bus in Atlanta back in 2015. Now, back in 2015, Pui had apparently pulled up on Lil Wayne's tour bus and opened fire with a 40 caliber handgun. The tour bus was riddled with bullets, but apparently no one was injured. Lil Wayne's driver, Alvin Lewis, is suing for pain and suffering that he suffered after that hit. In this leaked phone conversation that has now been heard by the Cub County Sheriff, it's apparently been reported that Birdman was telling Pui to come and make this money. Coupled with that, it's also being reported that Young Thug had apparently called Pewee eight times before the shooting. Now, obviously, this leads or brings the question to wonder if they're actually co-conspirators in the crime. Now, the prosecutors are actually trying to charge them as co-conspirators, and we'll find out what will happen in the coming weeks. Now, to be honest, I was literally just thinking this, but I know a lot of counties in America because we're always talking about one American rapper or the other getting arrested. It's so unfortunate that these are the things that we still have to talk about in 2018, and I hope that they actually pay for what they did, if they did it. And last but not the least, on the Daily Dish, in a press conference that was supposed to be about trade wars between Mexico and Canada, Donald Trump managed to make very right comments at ABC News reporter Cecilia Vega. Now, she had, he had apparently called on Cecilia to ask him a question, and I think she was shocked because he went on to say that she wasn't prepared and she does not think. Now, this outburst by Donald Trump has brought to question if women in the White House are constantly being treated fairly or if they're treated unequally. Now, obviously, we all know the answer to that question. It's very obvious. Next up, in Spicy or Not, media personality Ibuka Obi Uchendu stepped out in a waistcoat designed by Ugo Monier. This waistcoat featured velvet lapels, and we're really wondering here at Spice TV. Is this waistcoat spicy or not? To be honest, when I first saw this waistcoat, I thought it looked like a bulletproof vest, but in my script it says it also looks like a parachute. So to be honest, I feel like I actually was even very more polite. Obviously, I think it's not, but let me know what you think with the hashtag spicy or not. And in movie trailers, If I Am President is a story about 37-year-old Sinachi Ohams. The office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is not a ground for experiment. Now the movie is set about him being a presidential aspirant for a Nigerian party, Nigerian Rebirth Party. This party was formed by young idealists and literally stems from a civil society organization. The movie is set in present day Nigeria and shows and pretty much highlights all the discourses and problems we face as a country. If I Am President is written and directed by Bright Wonder and it features stars like Joker Silva, Ivie Okujaye, Brian Okrawa, Ayo Ayola, Rahama Shadu, and so much more. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Nigeria that cannot be fixed by what is right. You will be president someday. Only then would you realize what it takes to sit here as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode of 360 Daily. But don't forget, if you want to keep up with what's trending in fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, you can hit us up on our website at www.myspice.tv or our social media handle, which is Spice TV Africa, across all platforms. If you want to keep up with me, I'm Valerie.ek on Instagram. Until next time, this has been Spice TV's premiere show 360 Daily, and I will definitely see you tomorrow.